Yo what's up guys Tanmay of Simple Snippets back with another video tutorial on number systems and conversions and in this video tutorial we'll be studying the access 3 code in detail and we'll also see how to convert a decimal number to a access 3 code and vice versa so in the previous couple of video tutorials in this playlist that is number systems and conversions we've been looking into different binary codes and studying them for example we saw bcd code we saw gray code and now we are going to learn access 3 code so if you have missed those video tutorials you can check those videos in this playlist itself and i'll drop some links and you can also see a card on the top right corner so make sure you check those videos if you don't know what they are and also if you are new on this channel make sure you subscribe to this channel because there are a lot of video tutorials on computer science and information technology on this channel and lot more are coming soon so you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video tutorial okay so with that being said let's get started with today's tutorial so we'll first start off with a little bit of theory on access 3 code exactly what access 3 means and where it is applied and then we'll go to the practical part we'll go to the digital blackboard and we'll sol solve some conversion numericals wherein we'll convert decimal to access 3 and access 3 to decimal and we'll see how to go about that process so make sure you watch this video till the end so that you understand both the theory as well as the practical part of conversions so starting with the theory access 3 also called called as XS3 so these are the two different ways you can write down XS3 code is a non weighted code used to express decimal numbers so again this is a non weighted code which means the binary value is not weighted so if you've seen the BCD code it is a weighted code wherein we used to assign the weights positional weights to each digit and it was also known as 8421 because those were the posi positional weights so we assigned 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 and so on from LSB to MSB right but in this case it is not weighted we don't assign any weights and it is used to express decimal numbers and it is another important binary code so it was developed by George Tibbets in 1937 the access 3 code for a given decimal is determined by adding 3 to each decimal digit and then the given number is replaced by its 4 bit binary equivalent so that's why by the name access 3 because we are going to add 3 to any digit and then convert it to the binary equivalent and represent it by its 4 bit binary equivalent. So talking about applications about of this code, XS3 was used on some older computers as well as in cash registers and handle portable electronic calculators of 1970s and there are some other uses as well. So it is particularly significant for arithmetic operations as it overcomes the shortcomings encountered while using the 8421 BCD code to add two decimal digits whose sum exceeds 9. So that's where XS3 has an advantage over BCD code. And this was a little bit about the theory as well as the application of XS3 code. Now let's move on to the actual conversion part so let's move on to the digital blackboard okay so as you can see on the screen I have the conversion table for access 3 code I have the decimal numbers in the first column BCD code in the second and the access 3 code in third now as I mentioned if you don't know what BCD code is you can check out the videos from this playlist and I have extensively covered what BCD code is essentially what BCD code is is the representation of 4 bit binary value of every digit so 0 is represented by 4 zeros 1 is represented as its binary value and that goes till 9 so if you want to convert a two digit, two digit decimal number for example 10 then we have to represent each digit by its binary representation and one would be represented as 0001 so this is going to be BCD and then the vice versa process happens so that's what BCD code is in just a small gist and this is the XS3 code now XS3 code is essentially adding 3 right so we have to add 3 so basically 3 in binary is 0011 so you can see for decimal number 0 the BCD code is 0 but then when we add 3 the XS3 code is going to be 011 or 0011. For 1 you can see the BCD code is 0001 but when we add 3 to this 0001 we get a new value and this is simple binary addition and you get 0100. So you can see over here. Similarly all of these numbers have been added 3 as binary value to the corresponding BCD. So if you convert 0011 with positional weights that is 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, you'll get 3 back. But if you apply positional weights to the excess code, you'll get 3 plus 3 that is 6. So positional weights for this is 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2. So 2 raised to 2 is 4 plus 2 raised to 1 is 2 and you'll get 6. So that's why the name suggests excess 3 code that is we have to always add 3 and then convert it. So for example if you take the last case if you apply positional weights to this BCD code you'll get back 9 but if you apply positional weights over here you'll get 9 plus 3 that is 12. So how do we convert a decimal to a access code? It's pretty simple just convert it to BCD and then add 3 and the reverse process is just subtract 3 convert it to BCD and then you get the decimal equivalent. Okay so now let's see the conversion process 
of decimal to XS3 code and XS3 to decimal code. So the steps you can see as follows. You have to first take the decimal, then represent each digit of that decimal to its corresponding 8421 BCD code, and then just add 0011 that is three in decimal to the to the code to each four digit blocks and then you get the xs3 code so let's start off with the decimal to xs code first so let, let me just write down the first question 56 in decimal now let's convert it to its corresponding 8421 bcd code so 8421 bcd code is 0110 so this is the binary equivalent actually and then the four bit binary equivalent for five is 0101 then the step two would be just add three to each of these four digit blocks so 0011 we have to add over year and year and after taking addition we'll get 1001 that is 9 and 5 plus 3 would give us 8 so that would be 100 and 0 so this is going to be the final answer that is the xs3 code okay so this is just adding 3 in decimal so what we did is we can directly add 3 to 5 also and 6 plus 3 and then we'll get 5 plus 3 is 8 and 6 plus 3 is 9 and then you can convert it to the corresponding binary value depending upon what value that you want so if now i represent this with binary it would again be the same thing pretty simple right let's see question number two which is a little lengthier sum let me just write down the question four five six three again step one represent each digit with its four bit binary equivalent so three is represented as zero zero one one six is zero one one zero five is zero one zero one and four is zero one double zero now adding 3, so 0011, 0011, 0011 and 0011. So finally we will get 6 over here, 3 plus 3 is 6, so 0110. Now 6 plus 3 is 9, so 1001, 5 plus 3 is 8, so 100 and one more 0, 4 plus 3 is 7, so 0 triple 1. So this is going to be the final XS3 code answer. So this is pretty straightforward and pretty easy to solve. Just two steps, just represent every digit of the decimal number with its corresponding 4-bit BCD code or binary code, which is one and the same for at least 0 to 9. And then we just add 3 in binary that is 0011 to each of those 4-bit blocks and we get the corresponding XS3 code. So the reverse process is also similar to what we did for decimal to XS. We just have to take the reverse process. So initially we have the XS3 code. We subtract 0011 from each 4-bit blocks then we get the corresponding bcd code 8421 code and then we directly convert it to decimal so let's see question number one over here let me just write down the question one double zero then one zero one zero and one triple zero so we have to take groups of four bits starting from right to left so this is going to be first block this is the second and this is the third so these are excess code blocks now we have to subtract zero zero one one from each of these blocks so this is 8, 8 minus 3 is going to be 5, so we'll get 0, 1, 0, 1. This is 10 in binary and 10 minus 3 is going to give you 7, so 0, triple 1. And this is again 8, so this is subtracting 3, we'll get 5, so 0, 1, 0, 1. So this is the corresponding BCD. Now from BCD to decimal, again we have to make groups of 4 and convert it to its corresponding decimal number. So 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5. 0, 1 is 7 and 0, 1, 0, 1 is again 5. So 575 is the final answer. So here we will get 575 as decimal for this XS3 code. Simple right. Let's see question number 2 which is a little lengthier than this. But the process is going to be the same. Just write down the question. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, double 0 and 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is the XS code blocks. Make groups of 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4 subtract 0, 0, 1, 1 from each of these block so 6 minus 3 is 3 so 0, 0, 1, 1 this is 4 minus 3 is going to be 0, 0, 0, 1 this is 3 minus 3 is going to be 4 times 0 this is 7 minus 3 is going to be 0, 1, 0, 0 that is 4 so we got the corresponding BCD 4 blocks that is binary equivalent now just take 4 four block digits and convert it to the, its decimal format so 0011 is 3 triple zero, 0001 is 1 4 times 0 is 0 and 0100 0, 0 is 4 so 4013 in decimal is the final answer over here 4013 4013 is the decimal value for this long xs3 code okay pretty simple right so this was about the conversion from decimal to xs3 and vice versa so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the concept of xs3 code what exactly xs3 code is it is a non-weighted binary code 
and where it is applied and little bit of theory about XS3 code. And then we also saw the practical conversion part wherein we converted a decimal number to XS3 and vice versa. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and make sure you subscribe to this channel. Peace.